Well, a lot of people love fried chicken. I like fried ravioli. And if you've heard Mary talk about her southern upbringing, upbringing she likes the fried green tomatoes. Mm, that's some tasty, beef fried it? green tomatoes. Something none of us like, though. Fried electronics. But with severe weather in the Midwest, power surges do happen. They do. Shrock innovations can help protect your gadgets. Welcome back, Thor Shrock. And Hi, Thor. Good to see you. We're talking, nice see you. We're talking fried electronics, and, and there was uh, the power went out in some parts of the metro on Saturday. Yep. This is very yep. timely to what you're speaking <laughs> about, right? It was. You know, I, I launched an email to all of our customers about the surge protectors we have on special and then went to bed that night. And at one in the morning, my wife's kicking me. Wake up. The power's out. And I'm like, <sighs> why are you kicking me to tell me the power's out? Let me sleep. It'll be on by the time we wake up. But it was kind of funny because, you know, the next day we're going to talk about surge protectors on yes. our radio shows. And uh, what a lot of people don't realize is, you know, you, you have that, that stru the surge strip or the surge protector under the desk. Yeah. You know, and I say, well, if you don't remember when you bought it, it's probably time to replace it. If you can't see it under all the dust, <laughs> it's probably right. time to replace right. it. Why, why do you have to replace those? <laughs> well, they wear out. That's a lot of people don't realize that. That when you have a surge protector, what it does is it literally puts itself in the in between a surge coming in and your equipment. So what happens is it's taken all the hits, it's taken all the damage and it wears out. And when it can't absorb any more surges, the majority of these things on the market, a lot of them have a little light on them that says mm -hmm. protect it's printed underneath protected and the lights on above it. But you know the mm. two have nothing to do with each other. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and in Nebraska, right, we might need to replace them more often here than in other parts of the country because they're taking more hits. It'll, it depends on a lot of factors, like you know, are your power lines mm -hmm. in your neighborhood above ground or underground. Great you know, point. can a squirrel you know jump on a transformer and cause mm -hmm. a big surge or something? Yeah. But uh, but the, for the most part, you figure every year you want to look at replacing them. If you buy one of the cheap ones, and when I say cheap, you know, I mean if you go out to a box store and you spend twenty-five or thirty bucks yeah. on on a surge strip, you want to replace strip. it about it's once. It's essentially a, year. a power strip, one of the cheap ones that you can buy, right? Well, yeah, well, that's, a lot of them have a, a small amount of surge protection, like 300. They measure it in joules, mm -hmm. 300 joules or 500 joules. And just like with anything else, you know, more joules are better. And you're going to see today, based on something you're doing to mark these down, there's, the price is very comparable, but the protection much yeah. better. You brought some pictures of damage, <laughs> things that can happen because of a surge. Walk us through these. Yeah, these are pictures from our service center. Um, in the middle there, you can see it looks like a firecracker that's popped. That's a capacitor. This is the inside of a power supply. This is the device that powers everything in your computer and this one took a pretty significant surge came into the service center because it wouldn't turn on and that was the problem so open it up took a picture for you yeah and what, what can you do about it at that you point? replace the part okay. I mean that's, yeah. that's when you have a part like a sur uh, power supply or something like that you literally have to replace the part mm. let's take a look at the next one right here what's this what are we looking at this is another power supply this one uh, the power supply itself didn't didn't explode inside like the other one did uh, the plug, the little white plug, the is connector. called a Molex yeah. plug. That's what hooks up to their customer's hard drive. So you can imagine what happened to their data. Yeah. Their, their hard drive is, is gone. Oh, Oof. the whole hard drive gone. is gone. Yeah, so they lost all the information. They lost on their everything. Computer. Yeah. All right. In this next picture coming up, um, you'll notice a white arrow and then a white rectangular box. What's inside that box? All right. In that box, there's actually four things. It's kind of like a Where's Waldo of electronics here. Uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. You'll notice on the right hand side, there's a microchip that is literally cracked and fallen apart from a surge. Uh, and those those cylinders, those are called capacitors. And what those do is they regulate power inside your computer. And at, after a, time, a period of time when they get surged, they'll start to swell and they'll leak out the top a little bit. And then they can't, when they lose that electrolyte liquid, they can't regulate power anymore. So that's why your computer suddenly just starts acting funny. Mm -hmm. You know, it won't turn on. It won't turn off. It, it freezes in the middle of doing something. A lot of times that's aggregate surge damage because you've never replaced a surge protector. Because you didn't know. You didn't you know you didn't had to know. Yeah, you right. I had know. no idea till today. When you talk about surge protectors, it was last year that I had uh, a power surge at our house, and I lost a $500 stereo amplifier. So it's not just for computers. You got to protect all your electronics. You should have seen him, right? folks. We were in the green room, and he's back there like, hey, I was complaining four. about this. Can you, can, right. you, can you fix this? Uh, the system uh -huh. I got. Like, he said, I'm not a magician. Is, well, <laughs> it's your stereo amplifier. That's almost as important as your computer. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I told him I have a couple guys that'll give it a whirl, but that's not what right. we do. But you'll they'll give yeah. it a whirl. Hey, but. you know, I remember my grandmother used, used to unplug things. Why doesn't yeah. that cut it anymore? Well, when the reason she was unplugging things mm -hmm. is in the old houses they didn't have grounded outlets. So if you use one of those adapters, those two prong adapters to, to plug in the three prong so you can make it go in the wall, mm -hmm. those if you have those on your surge protector, your surge protectors are worthless anyway. Don't even spend the money. Because yeah. the reason grandma unplugged it is if your house got hit by lightning, it would explode into a ball of 
fire. Mm -hmm. You don't want that. Something else we talk about is whole house protection. Yeah. Do you still need surge protection? You know, if you have whole home surge protection, it, it really works you know, well for protecting surges from the outside of your house, mm -hmm. but 70% of your surges come from within the home. How, how does that work? How, they come from within the home. They're yeah. not, you cause they're not from elect you, you know, probably fried your own receiver. <laughs> Listen to this guy. How did I do that? How do they come from inside your own home? Well, surges are aggregate. You know, it's really rare you have a big event like a boom and then there's, you like know, a lightning strikes like an explosion here. Yeah. like that power supply. That's the exception. What happens is over time these surges come in and they wear down your electronics slowly. And so every time if you've ever had a vacuum cleaner running and you turn it off and the lights get a little brighter mm -hmm. in the room, that's a surge. Tell gotcha. us about your, uh, what are they, audible alert? Yeah, one of protector? the big challenges that people have is you never know if your surge protector is bad or not. And if you replace them every year, sometimes they need it, sometimes they don't. You just don't know. And you don't want to lose a $1,000 television or a $1,000 computer because you didn't buy a $30 surge protector. So what we, do, what we do is every year we try to find these things, and they're really tough to find, but yeah. we, got a, we got about 100 of them this year, so it's a really good supply. Uh, they're audible alert surge protectors. What they do is when they're worn out, when they can't protect you anymore, they just chirp like a cricket under your desk. It's the most annoying sound you've ever heard in your life. So you <laughs> I would buy two, so when it, when it blows in the middle of the night at 1 a.m. and your wife is kicking you saying, there's a chirping, there's a like cricket in Like she did the office. other night yeah. when the power went out? <laughs> right. Get but a couple because you, know. you can replace it, because that you know it's bad then. Yeah. And you're offering them to your customers. Are they on, on sale? right now? Or yeah, they're on sale right now. We've actually sold through the first 100 of them, and we've got another shipment that we had in reserve coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, so they'll be in the service center Friday. So I would encourage you to give us a call in the service center. The number there is 934-9423. Mm -hmm. But give us a call and reserve them, because when we get them in, they'll already be sold. And I mean, it's just, they're normally, half off. Right. Thank you. I wanted yeah. to point that out. Right now, what are they running? They're normally $60, mm -hmm. and they're right now half off during the sale. It goes wow. for the rest of the week or until they're gone. Well, Shrek Innovations, <laughs> sorry, not only in Omaha, but also so in Lincoln, and we know many of you watch us from Lincoln, so we want to point out that location as well. Online at SchrockInnovations.com, but it's important to call and reserve yours because if the first 100 blew out that quickly, I can imagine the next we 100 will the, go we, too. we sent the email the first one on Saturday, and we went through 100 of them already. Wow. Well, so, save me too, would you? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming. Yeah, they don't fix your stuff. They'll yeah. protect in the future. Thank, Thank you, we Thor. Nice that. to see you. you. We showed you where to go online to find Schrock Innovations. You'll find us at OmahaMorningBlend.com. Watch and share clips. Visit our recipes page. Stay connected to the show at omahamorningblend.com. So we've got baseball, softball, t-ball, the YMCA ready for a summer of sports. Yes, and we'll see how Arthur fared in theaters this weekend. Box office results up next.